What is going on, YouTube Averse? John Sanic from Johnny Radio here, bringing you another top five on this glorious Top Five Friday. And guys, I'm so excited to be talking to you about one of my favorite singer songwriters of all time, Mr. Jim. Croce, who I think is very underrated, even though in the early 70s, you couldn't escape uh, all of his hits. And to this day, many of them are still used in film and you hear them and you don't even realize it. But uh, yeah, he's just one of the greats, man, and had to give my top five, which was really hard to whittle down, but I think I did it. So let's get right to it at number five. Bad, bad Leroy Brown. Man, you gotta love this track. It is just so fun and just right from the onset with that kind of boogie woogie piano coming in and upbeat vibe and you know him telling this story of the bad bad Leroy Brown it's one of those songs that I've heard in so many different instances I can't even tell like uh, you know I remember there's a really hilarious cover in a karaoke bar in the film Sneakers of this guy singing it and of course doesn't do it justice but it just makes you remember how much you love this song and uh, you know Jim was definitely great with some of the acoustic balladry but when he had these upbeat bangers about uh usually about this character that he creates uh it's just so fun and that's just one example of them and that's my number five so now at number four like the pine trees lining the winding road I got a name from the album of that same name. This is just an absolute classic. And, you know, uh, as I was saying earlier, you know, uh, you still hear his music in film today. I just recently saw the Ray Romano film somewhere in Queens and this song was used perfectly in a scene in that film. Uh, of course, you know it from Django Unchained uh, with the beautiful uh, Colorado landscape imagery in the background but it's just it's one of those songs that is so cinematic it can be used anywhere and I think it's really like goes without saying of course you know his guitar playing everything sounds beautiful but then when you add those tasty strings taking it up a notch and of course you know just talking about identity and uh how he has a name and following in his father's footsteps it's just one of those heartbreakingly beautiful ballads that uh i can't believe it's only my number four but so many great songs so now at number three up down got its hustlers you don't mess around with Jim from that album with that same title. Another song in the vein of Bad Bad Leroy Brown, where he's talking about this character Jim, who's just a total badass. Where uh, you know he talks in the chorus about don't spit into the wind, don't pull off uh, the the mask of the Lone Ranger or whatever. Like just this kind of nonsense, but it's just so fun to sing along to those background vocalists just filling in perfectly and uh, this one just has a killer groove to it that I love even more than Bad, Bad Leroy Brown. Even though they're very similar songs, I couldn't not have uh, both of them on this list. So uh, I had to do it. And now at number two. I'll have to say I love you in a song. Uh, just an amazing ballad that's under three minutes in length, but it's just perfectly written, perfectly constructed. The guitar uh, arpeggios on here are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, and it's it's one of those songs that for someone who is uh, not just a softy and a sucker for love songs, uh, someone who also is a little bit shy in nature, uh, I really, the, the lyrics of this resonate with me a lot, where you're not able to get all the words out right, so you have to do it in a song. Um, you know, and for us uh, musicians that carry a guitar around, it's a lot easier to talk to girls that way, I've found in life. And uh, yeah, I'm sure Jim can relate, and this song uh, just comes out perfectly in that way. So I had to have it at my number two, and now at number one.
Time in a Bottle. Absolutely amazing song. I mean, just the intro alone, the intricate guitar work is so amazing. And I actually had to learn how to play this for a funeral of all things, uh, which made it even more poignant to me. Um, you know, what the song is saying, like, if I could just bottle time and, uh, you know, spend as much of the time in on this earth as I can with you. Oh, my gosh, it just, uh, it, it'll give you chills, man. It's just such an amazing song. One of the best songs about the concept of time ever written. And again, another short one, just two and a half minutes long, but it's just perfect. And the way it ends on such a, a minor note, on the guitar, also brilliant. And um, yeah, I, I think Jim Croce, man, he's he's one of these artists that uh, I, I can't say enough, very underrated. I think he's right up there with some of the best of his era, like Cat Stevens, um, and you know Harry Chape and all those guys who were writing great songs in the early 70s with just an acoustic guitar and maybe a little bit of a company uh, of uh, James Taylor, of course, fits in that category as well. But Croce, man, he's right up there with all of them. So, uh, guys, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what your top five be. If you're so bold, leave me a top ten. I mean, so many other great songs. Operator, obviously one that almost made my list. It was this close, but uh, those are my five faves, guys. So thank you so much for watching. We got top fives every Friday. Album reviews, so much more. Thank you, and as always... Viva La Vinyl. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and be sure to ring the bell for notifications so you can always see great quality content like you're seeing on the screen right now. Thank you so much for supporting Johnny Radio, and I'll see you soon.